Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghuir. In this class, we will discuss about LALR of one parsing table. How to construct the table. In our previous classes, we already discussed about LR of one construction of items, CLR of one construction of parse table. This is a continuation class. We use the same example. Please watch our previous classes and come back here. The link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Coming to today's class. So let's refresh our example. This is the CLR of one table which we constructed in our previous class. For the example, this is, these are the items that we have generated for the example. S yes, tends to C, C, C tends to small C, capital C, C tends to D. For this, these are the items generated. With this, using these uh, items, we have constructed a CLR of one table. How many states we have here? Total 10 states are there. So what we are doing in LALR, look ahead LR of one parsing table. See, take a look at here, I8, I9. If you take a look at here, capital C tends to small c, capital C dot. And look ahead symbols are C or D. Here capital C tends to small c, capital C dot. Look ahead symbol is dollar. These two states are showing the same production. But look, look ahead symbols are same, uh, different. Look ahead symbols are different. So that's why here in LALR of one parsing table, we are going to combine these two states. We are making it as a single state. So what action we have to do here? Reduce action has to be written on the look ahead symbols reduce action has to be written on the look ahead symbols so how we reduce we are combining eighth and ninth state into a single state so that's why eight nine has been combined and reduced to second action reduced to second action why we are c tends to small c capital c which production it is second production so reduce second action has to be done in our CLR of one parse table, we have written separately. Eighth state reduced to two, reduced to two. Ninth state R2 has been written at a dollar symbol. So combine those two and write in all the positions. C, D and dollar position. That is what LALR parsing is going to do. It is going to reduce the number of states. So R2, R2, R2 has been written. Similarly, if you have this next coming to the similar states we have to identify c i4 i7 are similar states c tends to d dot look ahead symbols are crd c tends to d dot look ahead symbols are dollar symbol so combine fourth and fifth seventh state what action it is going to do reduce action on third symbol third uh, production so reduce to three so 4, 7 has been combined, reduce to 3, reduce, reduce, reduce on C, D and dollar symbol. Similarly, we are going to have I3 and I6 are having the same symbol, same set of production. C tends to C dot capital C, C dot capital C, C tends to dot C small uh, capital C dot C capital C dot D dot D. Look ahead symbols are changing uh, C, D, dollar. See here, whenever on this I6, I3 and I6 state, if you are taking the capital C, transition of capital C, it is moving to 9th state, it is moving to 8th state. 8, 9 is already combined. So on taking capital C, we are moving to 8, 9 state. See, on 3, 6 state, we are combining 3 and 6. On 3, 6, if you if you see the go to of capital C, we are moving to 8, 9 state. Similarly, on small c and small d, we have to do shift actions. What shift actions it has to do? By looking at the small c transition, we are moving to, we have to do shift action. By here, we have to do shift action. Shift to 9th state, shift to 8th state. So, shift 8, 9. Three six, okay. Shift to four seven. Sorry. So three and six, okay. If you see small c symbol, if you see on third and sixth state, if you see small c symbol, we are moving to same state, third state. Here we are moving to sixth state. So shift to three and six. We are already combining these two. So shift to three and six. If you see small d symbol, we are moving to 
here we are moving to seventh state here we are moving to fourth state four seven is already combined so that's why shift to three six state shift to four seven state uh, similarly wherever you are having third state uh, third and sixth are similar so we combined as three six uh, four and seven are similar that's why we are writing it as four seven three six four seven uh, this is how we write the lalr of parse table we have to construct this and shorten this uh, so one important point you have to understand definitely the number of states in LALR of one parsing table is always uh, it may be less less or equal to sometimes there is it is not compulsory to have that reductions there is no chance that uh, definitely it is going to reduce some of the states uh, sometimes it may reduce sometimes it may not reduce if possible reduce it uh, means definitely LALR of one parsing table will have either less than or equal to number of states when compared to CLR of one. This is the point you have to understand. So you hope you understand how to construct the LALR of one parsing table. If you have any questions regarding the concept, please post your questions in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates. Thank you.